Hey everybody, it's Anthony here from Nash Tech, and in this video I'll be doing a review of the Canon Rebel DSLR camera bag. So what do you say, let's get started with this review. So this is the official Canon Rebel bag for your DSLR cameras and lenses. This is made of a nice nylon material to keep water and other weather out like sand, and keep all your stuff nice and clean. The front of the bag has a few different straps. The center one is for holding down the top or the lid, and the left and right straps are for holding a tripod or something of that sort. I'll demo that at the end of the video so you can see how it looks. The removable and adjustable shoulder pad has the Rebel branding on it. It's not the most comfortable or most padded shoulder pad on the market, but it should suffice. The top of the bag has a hand strap, so if you want to carry it around, and I actually find I use that quite often. So now let's take a look at the storage that's on the outside of this bag. On the left and right sides, we have zip pouches so you can store some cables or other things in there like lens caps stuff like that on the back here we have a more larger zip slot which i was using for like my boarding passes and booklets and stuff like that and then on the front if you undo the buckle and you lift up the top you'll notice there are two open pouches that you might want to put some stuff in but be careful though there's no closing on them so they might fall out and then you'll notice there is a zip top to zip the whole top down if you want to once you open it up, you'll notice there is another zipper on the inside to put maybe some smaller stuff, maybe like an SD card, a couple things like that. And then you'll notice there's the interior. What's great about this is that the inside, you can actually remove these pieces to adjust it to however you want, whatever size you need. And that is really, really awesome. So let's fill this thing up and see how much it'll hold. I got a 60 to 300 millimeter uh, Pentax lens right there. We'll put a wind sock in there, maybe an Opteca mic. We can put a, let's see, I, I'm using my DSLR, so I'll just put in a Pentax camera. It'll fit in there. It's got a, I believe it's a 1.8 f-stop lens in there as well. In the back here, we can just throw in maybe a flash. You can store so much stuff in here. Maybe we'll put your booklet for your brand new DSLR in there. And if you want to, you can maybe throw in a battery or two back there. So you can see that is just on the interior. We fit a lot of stuff in there, and that's really awesome. So on the sides here, I'll maybe throw in, we'll, we'll see how much we can fit in this thing. I'll throw in maybe the charger for the batteries, and that's perfectly fine for that side pouch. You can see this thing is filling up with lots of stuff, and there's still room everywhere for more. On this side, maybe I'll throw in some lens caps and lens hoods and stuff like that. You can shove them all in there, and you still have extra pockets on the back and the front, and then on the inside, you still have tons of extra space. There is a lot of room in this bag. So we are basically almost ready to go shooting. We have all of our gear on the interior and we have some extra stuff on the outside. As you can see, we've got the mic, the camera, the lenses, all that kind of stuff. And you can even see there's dead space on the inside. We have too much space. And that is my only problem with this bag is that it's almost too big for my needs. If you're someone that needs lots of space, carries tons of lenses, this is great for you. But the last thing we need before we go out shooting is a tripod. So we slide our tripod through those front straps like I mentioned at the beginning of the review. And then we're basically set to go out shooting. Getting that tripod in there though the first time was a little difficult. One thing I really would like to see with a different incarnation of this bag maybe is a backpack feature, maybe shoulder straps on both sides since you're carrying around a tripod, it would be a little more comfy. But that is my review guys of this Canon Rebel DSLR camera bag. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this review, likes are always appreciated and uh, you can't really argue with a $30 camera bag now, can you? Bye guys. My two previous videos, in case you missed them, are the Polaroid 58mm lens hood review and the Western Digital 500GB portable external hard drive review. Go check them out. Thanks for watching, guys.